To introduce this team this morning, we have a board member, Dr. Philip Piso, who has been a longtime champion of children, children suffering from chronic disease. Dr. Piso is the Dean of Medicine at Stanford School of Medicine since April 2001, where he has made extraordinary progress. Before that, he was Physician in Chief of Children's Hospital in Boston and the Chair of Department of Pediatrics at Harvard uh, Medical School. He has a history of leadership in treating children with cancer and HIV syndrome. He also served a leadership role at the National Cancer Institute, <coughs> where he was initially clinical and research fellowship in pediatric uh, oncology. But he also served there as chief of the National Cancer Institute's pediatric department and acting scientific director for NCI's Division of Clinical Sciences. So we have the leadership at Stanford of a great champion of children, and a phenomenal team involving uh, Stanford and <coughs> uh, production facilities at UC Davis that is bringing together tremendous vision, a history of dedication, and an opportunity for real hope for these children. <coughs> Dr. Pizzo. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to begin by thanking uh, you, Bob Klein, for your tremendous leadership, as well as the members of the ICOC for literally galvanizing the efforts uh, in California for the nation and the world uh, in stem cell biology. I think this has really been transformative and it's catalyzed uh, the kind of work that uh, is now taking place, both certainly at Stanford and throughout California, and hopefully that will extend throughout the United States as well. I also want to thank Dr. Hoggood for allowing Stanford to take over Mission Bay. I couldn't resist noting that here we are at this wonderful center with Stanford featured prominently. Um, we failed at the merger, um, but this is another attempt to do a backdoor um, connection. I think that uh, it's important to at least put in perspective that um, uh, dermatology, uh, an important field of medicine, uh, which has become one of the most attractive areas for residents and trainees to pursue, uh, really comes in different forms. Um, there's a form which we're not going to be speaking about today and, and which we're not really engaged in, which deals with, I would call, the superficial, um, the cosmetic concerns and issues. But there is a forum that uh, really tries to tackle and take on real challenging issues, and epidermal lysis bullosa is one of those. And it takes a special team um, to do that. Uh, it begins with the leadership, and Dr. Al Lane uh, has been the leader of the Department of Dermatology for getting close to 15 years, uh, and he has done a spectacular job. He, too, uh, trained in pediatrics, um, uh, actually in Southern California at LA Children's, um, following his degrees at Dayton and Ohio State, um, and came to Stanford um, as a pediatrician interested in dermatology, and has built what I consider to be one of our finest departments. It's a small department by comparison to others, but it is quite integrated between basic fundamental science, translation, and clinical care. And the basic science component, uh, of which Tony Oro has been a great champion over the years, also uh, by uh, California North and South uh, trained, first uh, at Stanford as an undergraduate, then at UCSD, um, where he did his MD and PhD at SOC, um, and uh, then came back um, th after a short sojourn at the NIH to uh, be a leader uh, in Stanford dermatology, and has been focusing on basic molecular mechanisms, largely around Sonic Hedgehog, but particularly with regard to the efforts um, that the group has made, his team, in understanding the fundamentals of, um, of epidermolysis bullosa. Um, and they're joined um, by 
uh, our, one of our newest recruits, uh, Marius Wernick, who came to Stanford just over a year ago, 2008, uh, from MIT after training as an MD uh, in Germany. Uh, and uh, he wouldn't be here, I, I dare say, if um, CIRM hadn't existed. Um, so this is really important uh, because his reason for coming is in part because of the efforts in California and the recognition of our stem cell institute uh, that there was a need for someone to focus on nuclear reprogramming. And so uh, because he was at one of the great labs, I'm focusing on this, Rudy Anish's lab, an effort was made to recruit him and he came and uh, as you all know within the last uh, week has reached worldwide fame for uh, a new approach that he's discovered, invented in uh, converting or developing iPS cells that can track directly to uh, specific tissues. This is also, parenthetically, given dermatology coming full circle, uh, a new home, because there is now a need for skin biopsies in many diseases that uh, will generate iPS cells, and uh, I think this will really transform the way we think about medicine and, and science. And I also want to acknowledge with Dr. Bauer the important connections that exist between Stanford and uh, the uh, facility at UC Davis, which um, uh, allows us to carry on this work, and to finally acknowledge that it will now move forward, but only because of the receipt, the competitive receipt uh, uh, of the um, disease-based grant that Dr. Lane and his team has received. So with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Lane.